Rodney Salt playing this nest. I'm excited to see how this ends up panning out. It's somewhat difficult for Mewtwo in this matchup because he has to deal with the fact that Shadow Ball can be absorbed. So you have to be able to have these opportunities where it's much more likely that uh, where Ness is on offense and not just prepared for that Shadow Ball to be coming out. Yeah, but right away, that Shadow Ball into the mortar, racking up a bunch of percent. And Rodney answering himself right back. Down throw into the fairs, racking up a quick 25% on to Kham. But the real challenge that Rodney is going to be facing is how is he going to get in on this Mewtwo? Mewtwo being one of the characters that is very mobile. That air dodge is so good because you don't know what side really that air dodge is going to be going on. He's going to land right in front of you. He's going to land behind you. He's going to land to the right. Or out of the air dodge, is he going to hit that quick uh, teleport. And we're seeing a lot of maneuverability from these players. Ness having a, a pretty good time. Caught the two frame. Ends up missing on both sides, the up B and the punish. Good grab though. And the heal for 30%, making this a lot harder for Kham. He has to be a lot more safe about his opportunities for Shadow Ball. Yeah, no, Kham is actually gonna be a little more precise on that Shadow Ball. He's not gonna be able to throw it out for free. Maybe he's actually gonna change his game plan and start throwing it point blank. I've seen quite a bit of Mewtwo's like do that, and it works out really well because if you can get in a couple jabs possibly, you might be able to break that shield. Yeah. So far though, Rodney Salt is holding down these options by, I like the down smash, I like how he's used back air on the ledge, going for the back throw, and that is gonna kill Mewtwo being such a light character. And uh, just that flub with the, the Shadow Ball made a huge difference. He had a very strong percent lead. Okay, Nair into Ooh, with up smash right there. And he, he's going to get punished with a down throw into the two forwarders. A little miss basic from that forward smash would have been in a lot of percent if, he, if Rodney was able to get that. Kham didn't catch the landing lag on that platform right there. Could have been a Shadow Ball kill. He's going to go for the up throw. And it's not enough. He just got into the rage percentage. Ness still at some pretty high percent. I'm surprised it did not end up killing. There goes another grab. Uh, and that should do right it. There. Yep. Mewtwo always able to stay in on the game, being that he has a killing throw. And now Kham taking a little more defensive approach. He's actually trying to figure out what to do to Rodney. Rodney right now is throwing out a lot of aerials. He notices that Kham is going to want to chill back, Great trying to pressure ball. him quite a bit. Realistically, when, when Ness is out there throwing out strong aerials, you do not want to approach. He has the fair, he has the nair. He's just going to push you back and give Ness the situation he wants, whereas he can throw out those PK thunders. Great down tilt into the up air again with another up air. What a grab right there for some solid percent. Forward throw being the best for a percent that way. A lot of patience coming out of Kham. Rodney Salt really trying to stick to his aerial. Disable into the down smash. Not quite going to take the stock yet. But he gives him a free heal opportunity. And that takes away a lot of the work that he has done so far. He has to win the neutral once again and get in some solid strings to get that percent right back so he can go for the throw. My goodness, giving him that free 30% right away, man. That is like fighting a boss in Demon Souls, getting him down to the last pixel and then getting one shot it off the cliff. Oh, yes. I've had that happen to me many times. I was there and it was hilarious. But going back into the fire, match. Putting in some solid work, going for the forward throw, it gets the percent to completely tied. Dare to pin down the Ness. I like the work off stage using that side B. Very close to getting up B straight to the face. Percents are so even, and both of these characters with kill throws available. Whoever ends up getting the first hit, what a risk and no you grab follow-up. Grabs right there. My goodness, and that actually would have been the stop if you got that grab into the back throw. The timing right now on Rodney Salt's grabs are off just by enough for him to not be closing out these stocks. Mewtwo, though, has a lot of rage. He ends up getting the down tilt. He still needs more damage in order to get the kill. Great use of Nair because he knew that Rodney was going to be coming down for a grab. There's back the back row, throw. boys, and that is going to be it. Great stuff to Rodney right there. Clutching out that stock, putting himself 1-0 in this set. That was one of those situations where the pressure was high on both players that there were so many flubs. They weren't being more patient and thinking about what they were going to do. They were reacting panicked to the things that were happening for each other. Whereas I think that for Rodney, 
it was very easy for him to stay in, try and do some safe aerials on shield, go for the, the up air mix-ups, throw out some safe back airs, and on the other side, Kham could just stay far away and keep working the, the down tilt game. Get his opponent in the air and use your large tail with all of those aerials to push your opponent back and continuously get that damage before you get that grab. Yep, and now we are going to be hopping into game two of the set. Uh, Rodney actually taking game. Oh no, Kham taking Rodney to FD. A uh, stage that Kham actually really likes. Now he is going to be able to really take full advantage oh. of the stage. No platform's going to be in the way. He can go ahead and throw out the Shadow Ball as he needs to, but he's going to have to be careful because of that side magnet like we saw in the first game. Okay, nice side B pushing Rodney back out, but it looks like when they get really close to each other, they don't have very good maneuverability skills. So you need to be able to pivot grab if you're, if you're that close and you don't have the opportunity to just turn around comfortably. Good shield grab right there, not letting Rodney Salt get away with those aerials. No grab, fully charged Shadow Ball goes for the forward throw for damage. You know, they am actually gonna grab a nice forward throw, right there, a little bit of percent right there. Shadow Ball catching the ending aerial of Rodney right there. Oh, caught in the PK fire, way too close to DI out, and just gets forward smash for a, a pretty bad play. Yeah, no, fortunate stuff right there for Kham, but great stuff coming from Rodney. Go ahead, hitting him with that PK fire, but that air landing up air. Go ahead, taking that out right there. And Rodney has a lot of percent. Yeah, right now it looks like there's a problem. Kham moving in, but he's moving in at a point that's so easy to read that he is consistently uh, getting a spot dodge out of his opponent. And that has led to so many punish opportunities for Rodney Salt, and he's been holding on to the sleeve very well so far. And another heal, keeping him in his first stop. I yeah, know, yet again, Rodney just he, he just has that timing of when uh, Kham is going to be sending out that Shadow Ball, and he's getting a free 30% to go ahead and work with, getting another lease on life, but unfortunately whipping that grab, but getting a nice bounce match right there. And Rodney is pulling away with a strong lead right now, using dash attack, a move that is very good for him because it has disjoints. It can contest with the down tail or the tail of the Baby back air, not trying to get anything out of it. Trying to go for another down smash, but Kham smartly actually just jumping away. Grabs missed on both sides. Got the down tilt and pulled him into that up smash. Taking a stock, Kham still has a chance, but he has to play a lot more patient. Woo! Up he misses him so narrowly. That's so funny. Rodney committed to that jab right there. Held that thing for dear life. Ended up hitting him right there. And now, okay, I'm sitting at 120%. He needs to be very careful because if he lands errantly, he's going to be getting that back throw as I'm trying to finish my sentence. And See, that is going to be a wreck. He ended up going for a down tilt but did not get the confirmed hit before moving in, leaving Ness with an opportunity for a grab. 